gymnastics. Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Just a reminder that all actions and movements shown in this presentation follow a skills and progression based model of learning, subject to the Gymnastics Canada LTAD and sanctioned by Gymnastics Nova Scotia. The material found within is general in basis and does not take into account individual needs or limitations. Anyone who applies this program on their own does so at their own risk. And now we're going to get started with some stretching, so follow along as we get ready for our workout. regular donkey kicks you're gonna go on your hands and your feet and your squat and just hop up and down a few times keep your arms straight make sure you don't bend them to avoid any face plants if you're looking for a challenge you can go down onto your knees keep your toes pointed same thing but you're gonna lift from your toes instead of the bottom of your feet try a couple of those now we're gonna move on to some handstand preparations. So get into your lunge, make sure your front leg is bent, your back leg is straight, and both feet are facing forward. Stretch your arms up really, really tall, no bending them, we want straight arms. And you're just gonna lean over and do a needle kick. So you're gonna keep your leg on the ground, touch your hands, and kick your other leg really tall. Do a couple of these and try and start and finish in your lunge. Great job. Next, you're gonna just start in the same lunge position, except this time you're going to pop your foot off of the ground. So just try and do your needle kick, but with a little extra push. So just lift it up really nice and tall. Great job, those look great. The next progression is a full handstand. So remember your nice lunge with your arms really tall. You're gonna do the exact same thing, except you're gonna try and touch your toes together at the top. And remember that you need lots of space around you and a soft surface in case you fall.
next we're going to move on to some gems now a reminder that we love 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 our motorcycle landings for all our gems make sure when you land a motorcycle your knees are bent but they don't go over your toes you want them just to sit nicely over your feet now we're going to just start with some little hops and then a motorcycle landing awesome to some straight jumps so these are different from our hops because we're gonna reach our arms tall and squeeze our body really tight so you're gonna start like you would a regular jump arms down and then reach to the sky when you do it make sure when you land you're doing your really awesome motorcycle landing great job next is tuck jumps so for a tuck jump you're gonna to want to bring your knees to your belly and not your feet to your bum so you're gonna make sure you jump up really high knees to belly and then land your motorcycle. You can see that you want your feet to be just shoulder width apart, hip length apart. You don't want to have them together. You want to have a nice support system for your jump to land. Great job. Now we're going to do some jump half turns. So they're kind of like your straight jump, but you're going to add a little spin in. So jump and pick your favorite side to jump to, because don't worry, now we're going to go the other way. So two more. Jump, spin, motorcycle landing. Jump, spin, motorcycle landing. And then if you're looking for a challenge, you can try your full turn. Awesome job. You can even try the other way. Wow, look at that motorcycle. You're gonna try your star jump. That's your star, except when you jump, you're gonna do it in the air. Now this one's a little tricky just to land in your motorcycle, but try your best. Jump up really high so you have enough time to get your star in the air. Challenge, you're gonna try a pike jump. So for this one, you're gonna have to jump really high and you're gonna try and touch your toes without letting your feet come apart like I just did and without bending your knees so it doesn't really matter if you can touch them that's just the goal next up is a wolf jump so if you've never seen these it's like a mix between a tuck jump and a pike jump so you're gonna bend one knee and keep the other straight and for these you're gonna try and keep your knees touching cool okay now we're gonna try and balance on one foot you're gonna pick whatever foot you'd like and to make it harder you're gonna have your arms up you can even try and close your eyes that will make it harder then try and rub your belly, tap your head, you can hop up and down, maybe even hop in a circle. Eyes open or eyes closed. Great job. Now we're gonna try the other leg. So leg up, arms out, get your balance, and then you can try and lift your hands up to the sky and then close your eyes, see if it's a little harder. Now you're gonna open them again, see if you can pat your head, rub your belly, hop around, maybe even go in a circle. Great job. Next up are some prone falls. So go ahead and climb on your knees, put your arms straight in front of you, and fall towards your stomach. Now keep in mind that your arms should be straight until they hit the ground where they should bend so you can safely lower your tummy to the ground. Great job. All right, next up are we're gonna work on some scales. So you're gonna stand on one foot. You can pick which one you wanna do. I'm doing my left foot. Arms out to the side, legs straight behind you. And then if you're looking for a challenge, you can lower as far as you can, and then come back up and switch to your other side. So arms out straight, legs right behind you, and then if you want a little bit of a challenge, you can lean, lean, lean. Ooh, little wobble. Great job. And for anyone looking for a little bit of a challenge, you're gonna try a Y scale. So you're gonna grab the inside of your foot and then see if you can extend your legs straight up as high as you can. Ta-da! For this next portion, we're gonna work on some locomotions. So I am just grabbing some pylons for place markers because I wanna go in a square. These are not necessary. If you want them, you can use pylons if you have them, soup cans, stuffed animals, anything that works. And if you just wanna do your locomotions around in space, that's cool. First thing you're gonna do is just some tiptoe walking. So see if you can walk around in a circle. If you're doing it like me, walk around your pylons. Or even if you wanna just do it free, all around the space that you have, go in some zigzags, whatever you want. Next, you're gonna do your tippy toe walking sideways. You can change up which side you're walking to, or if you really want to, walk the same side, whatever your jam is. Next up is backwards walking, so same thing, tippy toe walking. Careful not to trip on anything. Look behind you if you need to. Put your heels down if you need to. This is your stuff, so you can do whatever you want. All right, next up is bunny hopping. Go up on your toes and bounce, bounce, bounce. See if you can keep your feet together. Awesome job. Now you're gonna try some one foot hopping. So pick one foot and go all the way around. Hop, hop, hop. 
and then switch to the other side and hop all around the town on one foot. That was great. Okay, next thing you're gonna pick one foot to put in front and you're gonna try and gallop like a horse. Bonus points if you actually make the sound. Then you're going to switch to your other side and do the same thing. You have to even it up. Nice job. Lovely galloping. Okay, next you're gonna try some skipping. So just little hops on each foot. Hoppity hoppity, skippity skippity. Wow, wow, wow. Lovely dead skip. Okay, next you're just gonna do some bear walking. So walk like you would a bear on all fours. You can go slow, you can go fast. Bears go, you know, all sorts of speeds. Now you're gonna be a sideways bear. So you're gonna walk sideways. You can go only on your left side, only on your right side. You can do both, whatever your jam is. And then if you're feeling extra, extra snazzy, you could try backwards, ooh, but next up is crab walk. So you're gonna go forwards or backwards or sideways. Looking good, looking good. More crab walk, change it up now. Go the way that you weren't going before. This is me getting really confused and not knowing which way to do my crab walk because I'm not a real crab. I am often crabby happy, but not a real crab. Great job. Now you're going to be like a duck, but you're going to keep your hands behind your back if you want, and you're going to get real low and see if you can waddle around like a duck. Again, extra points if you're going to be, you know, making some duck noises. Now that looks really good, but if you're looking for a challenge, you can try and duck hop. I don't know if you've ever seen a duck hop, but this is what it looks like. Quack quack. Awesome job. Phew, that was really tricky. Now we're gonna clean up my pylons. You know, if you got out some cans or animals or pylons, you should clean those up too. So we're gonna move on to the next portion. For this next portion, we're gonna do some beam lines, but no worries, if you don't have an actual beam like me, you can put some green painter's tape that doesn't stick to the floor in a line, or you can just pretend that you're on the beam and walk in a straight line. Now you can choose a couple places for your hands to go, your hips, down low, to the side, or even up tall. I am choosing my hips just because. The first thing you're gonna do is walk forwards. When you get to the end of your line or your beam, you can try a pivot turn by going up on your toes and just swiveling around. Then do another line. You're gonna do two of everything. Great job. Now you're gonna try and go on your tippy toes just for a challenge. And then it's really easy to pivot and walk another line. Now you're going to try sideways, just on your flat feet, facing the same way when you get to the end. Do another line. Awesome, now you're going to do the exact same thing, but on your toes. So take your time, you do not need to go fast. Just go all the way down, stop, and then all the way back. For these ones, no need to pivot turn because you're just going to face the same way. Awesome job. Now you're going to try backwards. Now if you're actually on a beam, Make sure that when you get to the end, you can try and tap behind you to see where the end of the beam is. And then pivot turn. And some more backwards walking. Ooh, almost fell over there. No biggie. Just gonna get back up. Alright, the next thing you're gonna do is a super awesome pivot turn. Wham! And then you're gonna see if you can walk backwards on your tippy toes. And if you can't or you don't want to, that's fine. Go on a flat feet. Wherever your jam is. I don't know where the end of the beam is anymore. I lost it, but I'm still in a pivot turn. Next up is some more tiptoe walking. Awesome. Love it. Oh, there the end of the beam is. Okay, now the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna have your hands out to the side and you're gonna try and kick forwards. Make sure both of your legs are really, really straight. You don't wanna be bent or hunchy. You wanna be really tall. You can do your pivot turn when you get to the end. You can do some more. Don't worry about how high your leg is. Just try and keep your leg straight. Now you're gonna try and kick backwards, but walk forwards. The so same thing. Don't worry about kicking your leg really high. Just keep both of your legs really straight. Pivot turn when you get to the end. Try another length. Awesome job. Now you're going to try some sideways kicks. So the leg that you're kicking, you're just going to move that arm to the front instead of to the side because you don't want to kick yourself. 
Now same thing, pivot turn at the end and try and keep both legs really straight. Awesome job. Go all the way to the end. Pivot turn. Ta da. Now we're gonna try, well, some bear walking. And then if you're fancy, you can try and go backwards. Next up is, you know, some straight leg inchworm, so you're gonna crawl out as far as you can with your hands and then go in with your feet. Out as far as you can with your hands, in with your feet. Awesome job, and you can try backwards. So out with your feet, in with your hands, out with your feet, in with your hands. Phew, that was super awesome, great job. All right, now you're gonna try some hopping. So get one foot in front of the other a little bit. Try and keep your legs as straight as possible. My beam is a little squishy, so I did bend them a little bit to keep from falling off. Pivot turn and do it again. Great job. Next thing you're gonna try and do is some running, but we're not gonna run quite yet. You're just gonna try and, you know, hoppity hop from foot to foot, toe to your knee, just like that. Then you can try the same thing backwards. So you don't really have to lift your feet when you change them. Just make sure that you're squeezing all your muscles so you don't fall off. Next, you're gonna try and jump. So add a little speed, add a little hop from foot to foot. You can try again backwards, hoppity, hoppity. Great job. Now you can pick up the pace and you can try actually running on the beam. So it's like high knees and then backwards. High knees, high knees, high knees, high knees. And no worries if you don't go very fast or very high. You try. Great job. Now we're gonna try and skip. So you're gonna kind of skip without actually letting your foot leave the beam. You're gonna just go up on your toe and touch your toe to your knee. Great job. Next you're gonna try and just do a little hop. Hop, hop, hop. Awesome job. Pivot turn. Hop, 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 hop. And then if you're feeling, you know, really helpful, you can put away your beam or take your tape off the floor or, you know, just give yourself a pat on the back. Great job. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is a little bit of conditioning. So I'm gonna grab my foam. You can grab a stuffed animal or a soccer ball or really anything that you can pick off the ground. You're gonna sit on your bum. You're gonna lift your toes up high, kind of like a tux it, and then lift your feet off the ground. Now pick up your object and you're just gonna tap each side without letting your feet hit the floor. You're gonna lift them up really high. Tap, tap, left to right, left to right. Great job. Next thing, you are going to lift your legs in the same kind of fashion you did before, except they're straight now. So instead of having bent legs, you're gonna tap side to side, keep your legs as high as you can. For a challenge, you can also, you know, lean down a little bit. Next thing, you're gonna keep your legs straight up to the sky, and you're just gonna lift your head and your arms and your shoulder off of the ground so you can feel your stomach muscles working. And you're gonna pass your object around your legs and above your head in a nice little circle. So try not to relax on the bottom. Still try and keep your shoulders and your head off of the ground. This is looking super awesome. Great job. Keep it up. Try not to lower that object. Don't let your head touch the ground. You're going to sit up, take a deep breath, because we're going to do another thing. You're going to stick your legs up and you're going to not let your head touch the ground. You're going to tap your toes with your object if you can. Keep your legs straight and don't worry if you can't quite reach your toes. As long as you feel it in your tummy, you're doing it right. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do a front support. You're not gonna stick your bum up, you're not gonna let your belly be soggy. You're gonna do a really nice tight front support. So you squeeze your bum and your legs. And you're gonna pass the object to the opposite side in your front support. You're gonna go under and behind your hand. You're gonna try not to wobble side to side too much. Keep yourself really flat in your stomach area. Back and forth, right to left, left to right. The next thing you're gonna try is you're gonna try some little V snaps. So you're gonna swap your object in between your feet and in between your hands every time you go up. So you're gonna lift just onto your bum to swap back and forth. Try not to let your feet hit the floor. Great job. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a lunge and you're gonna make your leg nice and wide and your knee is not gonna go over your toe. It's gonna go just straight up over your heel and you're gonna pass your object through your front leg, making sure that you stay in your nice lunge, your tummy is tight, you're not leaning over too much. 
you're squeezing. Then you're gonna swap your legs and do the exact same thing. So make sure your lunge is wide enough for you to fit your object through. You can pick a smaller object than me if you want it to be a little easier. And just keep passing it through. Great job. Now the very last thing you can do if you want a little extra little oomph, you can try and find a wall, sit with your back against it and put your object in your lap. You can try not to drop it. You can choose how long you want to do this. I did this for about 30 seconds, but you can also make it a challenge and see how long you want to hold it. Awesome job. And that's the end of today's lesson. So shake your legs out. You did a great job. See you later.